Hey guys, I feel weird talking to you in this spot. I'm not used to it. I'm usually sitting down in front of a window, but this time in front of a plain white wall. The reason I am here, it's because I was asked if I could show how I wear my belt because they noticed that I twist and tie them in different ways and they want to know how it is done. And you know me, I love to pass on my tricks in case it could help you. And here we go. These are the belts I'm gonna be using. They're going to be in different width. These are pretty much the same, but also different texture, meaning some have a studs, embellishment, and some are thinner and some are longer because obviously you make different knots with different textures, right? Let's start with the easy peasy one. I've been doing this since my CGIP days. CGIP in Quebec is free university years. Instead of passing it through the loop here, what I do is I pass it underneath and then I pass it again across. So I get this kind of like cross happening here. This belt is on the longish side. I pass the belt, okay? And because there's no hole here, what I'm going to do is this bit of the buckle, which I forget what it's called, I'm going to tuck it underneath and I'm going to do the same thing, which is to, so now it's up here, it's down here I mean, and I'm going to tuck it under and over. If this is how I'm assured that the belt won't undo. It just stays in place, even though this part is not inside a hole. For this belt, I should have used another color dress actually, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how I tied this belt that doesn't have a hole where I need to enter this part of the belt. Always making sure that the doohickey here goes underneath, but this time I'm going to pass it through this part of the belt, which I haven't done with the brown one. So this goes underneath. And yes, I'm going to once again tuck underneath and once again, it's gonna go through this hoop that was created. So instead of leaving it like this, I'm going to once again do the same loop. And I'm going to have this kind of knot. The last belt is this very, very thin belt. And in this one, again, so that you don't have this extra thing happening, what I like to do is I like to pass it through this piece again. So now it's going on this side, but then I'm going to loop it over and loop it under. I mean, it's like, it's like literally a pretzel. But what this does, it gives a nice little knot you're going to put it in, inside, then go like this. Underneath, inside here, scoop it out. And you have a knot like this. The last one is going to be something that is so simple. I'm sure you guys are doing it already and I don't even know, I don't even know why I'm showing you, but just in case you don't know this and I'm sure you do, is with the one where you just re-tuck the tongue of the belt, you re-tuck it back on this part of the belt. So now you have this kind of like belt thing. Ta-da! This is it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Gros bisous.